steel trap given tracking. Oh, he did it again. Come on. He's hanging on, hoping for a blast from Judge. Hit in the air to left center field and deep. That ball is gone. And that kid is fired up. Aaron Judge delivers in extras. <laughs> and it's 2 0 Yankees. He hung. Crawford. Can he throw him out? He got him! Just an unbelievable play to keep this game moving on. Nice play by Torres. Nice. Oh, what a play to get the force at third. Never thought he'd get him. And a great heads up play by LeMayu getting back to the bag. Tell you what, every once in a while, Torres will show you defensively how good he could be. Another shot at 3 1, and it's hammered to right. Hammer makes a catch. Absolute bullet <laughs> off the bat of Harper, but he hit it basically to Hayward. Great leaping grab. And first. And Almora hits one out toward right field. Harper makes the catch. Rizzo's tagging, coming home. The throw to the plate is in time. On the fly from Bryce Harper, and Anthony Rizzo is nailed at home plates. How about it? Bryce continuing to do his thing in right field. With in the this. draft, draft is right around the corner. That's a fair ball. Fletcher has to hurry. Throws out the speedy. Buxton won a play by David Fletcher. One down. Boy, got a lot on that throw. David Fletcher. It's our Arco top tier play. Not only gets that baseball, but balance gets a lot behind it. Right field, racing back. Mercado, oh, what a catch! Oscar Mercado on the dead run reached up and snared it, stealing extra bases from Matt Chapman. Boy, you talk about a fine running catch. That ball was a line drive. Line drive. Hayward leaves his feet, makes the grab. Hello, Mr. Gold Glove. Five-time Gold Glover. Perhaps on his way to another one. There's certainly some risk involved here. And he's so good even when he leaves his feet. Because it, it is, the ball just jumps. Well, that's where you get, you know, easy cheese. And again, tall dives, and a, this time, he comes up with the baseball. And a glove and hat salute from Marquez. That's the third dive tonight for David. And now he's going to have to charge the other direction. Garcia makes the catch. He had a whole valley to traverse out there. And Laori lays out for a 1-2-3 inning for Dylan Covey. Payoff pitch. Hit in the air, left field side. Jimenez has a long way to go. He slides, and he makes the catch in left field to retire the side. We showed you how much space he had to cover. Payoff. And this one lined to left center, and that is going to get down and split the outfielders. Skipped off the new artificial turf here. Around second on his way to third is Kiermaier, and he's out! Alex Verdugo with a rifle shot from the warning track. And Kiermaier is gunned down, stretching a double. That ball scorched towards center. Acuna going back, still going back at the wall. Leaping try, and he got it. What a catch. Acuna went as far as he could go. And Third base, backhanded by Escobar. Long throw. Oh, what a play. Man. Eduardo Escobar. What a throw. It's a smile from Zach Greinke even. Ball might have been on the inside corner. This one in the air, out to right field. Mazzara back to the wall. He reaches up and makes the catch right before meeting the padding out there. And there's one away. Very nice play from Nomar Mazzara. The and Bill, do you think that that's the reason why it's fly by it's hit out the right? Hanniger going back on it. Makes wow. the play. Wow, what a catch. That's big time. A lot of carry to that fly First ball. A second, nobody out. Well, we come back to haunt them here. Anderson tags the runner and fires one across the diamond. Another double play. What an athletic play by B.A. 
Brown, two and a liner into center. That'll be charged by Kiermaier. Ballard is going to try to score. He is out at the plate. Rays cut him down for out number three. Well, you knew he was in trouble. This ball got out to Kiermaier so quickly, and he's got a cannon, and he's accurate with it. Right there, perfect one hop for Darno. He's moved up the food chain in a hurry. Howie Kendrick oh. hits one on the ground. Rosario with a great stop, and he throws him out. A sharply hit ball to his left, and Rosario lays out to get it. One pitch, and Gagneau gets a fine oh. defensive play behind him. Runner on the move, ball hit pretty well. Jake on the move, still going back at the track near the wall. He makes the play, crashes into the wall. Runner trying to get back. Correa doubles him up. What a play for the double play to end the fifth. Even a nice hop by Tyler White to get over the sliding runner to finish off the double play. Best outfield in baseball. First pitch swing, and it's skied right at Acuna. Paused for a moment. Now he goes back to the wall, leaping try, and he's got another one. That's two for Acuna tonight. I think he's starting to figure out this center field thing. That's two terrific catches in as many innings. And he hits the first pitch in the air, well to left center. Back goes Gomez onto the warning track, right at the wall to make the catch. Right at the top of the fence. The former Gold Glove center fielder making that look easy. One out. Well, the first, well yeah. I mean, you know, however it works. Matt Adams a drive out to deep left field. Granderson makes the catch, slamming into the wall. And Soto's got to get back to first base. What a catch by Grandy. Says he's all right, but he went full head of steam into the left field wall. This undoubtedly will be our Bonefish Grill fresh catch of the day. Catcher may be the very toughest, as that is a beautiful play by Rondon. Just into the game as well. His first attempt is an absolute jewel. This is a rocket. Should be the giveaway. High fly ball down the right field line. Rogers in foul ground. Oh, hold on. Catch it. Catch he's it. caught it. Yes, yes he, he did. did. He's okay. Well done, Brendan Rogers. First game at Coors Field. Having fun. Yeah. Hammered into the gap. And diving and catching is Pilar. And a double play. Oh, man. Unbelievable. And he reaches down and pokes it out toward the left field corner. LaCastro is into the wall, and he's got it for the out. Tim LaCastro. He might not survive the series physically, <laughs> oh but he just made a tremendous sliding catch. So the order's up. The third time this year he has completed six. High drive. Hayward at the wall. He's got it right below the basket. Woo. Just stayed in the yard. Suarez missed a game tire by a couple of feet. Lifted right and deep. Bellinger's back onto the track, leaping at the wall, and he makes the catch. Adding to his growing MVP reel. Trips without a strikeout, longest active streak, and he doesn't strike out here. Baez, nice snag, and he got him. Can't take your eyes off Javi Baez when you come to a game at Wrigley Field. Good range, spins and throws the seed to first base. Ability to lean and lunge like use the one nothing. Little trickler, runner holding at third. Devers bare hands throws and he got him at first. Bregman not going anywhere at third base. That is a fine play by the youngster. But Devers has made some really special plays recently, and this one's very special. That is hit hard in the air to left back at the wall. A leaping grab. Tendi. And another loud out this postseason that this Red Sox outfield is able to haul in. What a catch. Yeah, not the easiest position to play when you got that big green wall right there. Benintendi on the go, jumps and makes the catch. A leaping catch by the AL East standings out there. Might have hit low off the wall. He had a few feet to go on the track, but a long way to get it going toward the line to his right. 
he jumped and stuck out the glove and made an outstanding play. Rojas gets to it, throws to third, got him! Oh, oh, oh. oh Miguel Rojas with an absolute beauty. That ball took him into shallow left field and from his wallet in one motion, throws to third. And I don't know how in the world Miguel Rojas did that. He was on his back when he made that toss to third base. That's one of the best defensive plays we've seen all season. Oh. Diving play by Arenado. Are you kidding me? Arenado with a spectacular play on the cut of the grass in the dirt behind the third base bag. Wow. He does it again. The man's a magician at third base. That ball looked like he was ticketed for left field. He dove to his right, made the play, and from a kneeling position, threw across the infield with a whole lot on the throw to Ryan McMahon to, at the end of the day, easily get Alex Blandino. That was a play that saved the tie game. Little floater into right center field. This ball is caught by Bellinger. What a catch. Cody Bellinger makes a sliding catch. Bellinger came over like Superman and made the dive and held on to it. Here's the 3-2 to DeShields. And the pitch is grounded deep in the hole. <laughs> Didi feels to his feet, throws, got him. Oh, what a play. What a play. A hot shot in the shortstop hole, went into a slide, got it backhand, sprang to his feet and fired a bullet and beat a very speedy runner. Wow, was that a play. This was an incredible play by Gregorius, and even Delano De Shields can't believe it. He is so used to hitting ground balls like this and beating them out for base hits. Gregorius knew, watch the slide and the throw. He wasn't even, that was throwing the ball as you were getting up. And he drives one out into deep left center. Almora will make the catch. LeMahieu back to second. And hopefully Albert's okay. Wow. Lost his helmet or his uh, hat in the process, but caught the ball. And he's a little woozy. Yeah. Well, he probably lost his breath. Albert playing a game of anything I can do, I can do better. Brilliant play last night. Maybe better here this afternoon. Michael Brantley with a bunt. Musgrove one heck of a play. Oh my goodness. That is one of the best you will ever see by a pitcher. Joe Musgrove. How did he do that? <laughs> I don't know. Man. How did he make this play? And as he's doing this, how do you not throw what? this ball down the line? <laughs> the throw was right there. That is ridiculous. You know, Musgrove's a big man, too. <laughs> he, you know, he's not some little quick guy. He's quick, but he's not little. I mean, he's a big gosh. man. To, to get off and make that play, that's, that's ridiculous. And a high fly ball into right center field. Long run for Kane. And he leaps and he makes the catch. The catch is worth the price of admission. Lorenzo Kane has done it again. Just give him a gold glove. Oh, what a catch by Lorenzo Kane. Up against the wall with a leaping grab. Wow. You know what? You come to expect it from him. He does it so many times, high up on the wall, but he grabbed it and hung on to it. Here we go. The youngster has a chance to do some damage in his first start. Soto, long ball to left. See you later. First pitch, first homer, first RBIs, 3 nothing Nets. Guess what, Juan? You're playing tomorrow. It's Washington 3, San Diego nothing. Welcome to the Major Leagues, 19-year-old and youngest player of the big leagues, Juan Soto. It's got to be a curtain call, doesn't it? Here he comes. Jones sending Martinez back. Will that find a gap? Oh, what a grab! Martinez crashes into the wall but made the catch. Did his glove come on? That was one of the better catches J.D. Martinez has ever made right at the 365 mark. And what a play! What a catch as he slammed into the wall. A sensational catch. That's the best play he has made in the outfield with the Red Sox, and he paid the price. Boy, Martinez just timing that perfectly going up against that wall. Makes a great play. 1-0. High deep drive into right field. That one carrying way, way back. Deep to right. Betts there leaping at the wall. Mookie Betts made the catch. He caught the ball. Mookie with a leaping play right at the fence. Oh, did he have a time that perfectly? I mean, it was hit so high. 
that he didn't have to rush back for the baseball. He could glide back, check how much room he's got, and stand there and get some ups. And he got a plenty of ups on that. On this 1-0, he rips one to left on a line, and Acuna lays out and makes the catch. Ronald Acuna Jr. saves a run with a diving play. Spectacular catch by Ronald Acuna Jr. Robbing Hernandez of a hit and costing the Dodgers a run. Fly ball well hit to left. And it is caught! He did it again! What a game for Ian Hatt. The hat trick in left. Cubs win! Cubs win! 3-1 the final. What a way to end the ball game. And a broken bat bloop. McNeil oh! with a diving catch. Oh, wow, what a play. Jeff McNeil just keeps outdoing himself. He made a great diving grab going to his right last night and an even better play now, going away and snagging into the webbing. What a play. I'll say, great hustle, lays out, just a great play. Two down the pitch. A swing and a ground ball up the middle. Diving play by DeYoung. Throws to first, and he got him! He got him somehow! DeYoung threw Kike Hernandez out, ending the inning. I thought, well, he saved a run with the diving play, but scrambled to his feet, threw on one hop to Carpenter. The inning is over, and Gomber gets out of the inning with a one-run lead. Ground ball. That ball's going to shortstop. Right there, Galvis! Throws from his knees, got him! It's his best play of 2018, and there's so many to choose from. <laughs> but this ball was absolutely scalded, and I thought there's no chance on that dive. Normally, he does the sit slide. This was a full extension dive to his left and throws from the ground and gets the runner. That's number one for you, Fred. Numero uno. And thanks for the privilege of watching you play this year. No doubt about it. Not only did he make the play, he also saved an RBI. Rolled up the middle. Did Trevor throw him back? Yes, he can. What a play! George Springer just got robbed, and he's barking at Story. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're going to see this one for a long, long time. How did he get George Springer, who gives Trevor Story the business as Trevor heads back to the dugout? What a play by the All-Star shortstop. Soft ground ball, right side. Oh, what a play as they got Olsen. Boy, can Echeverria play shortstop. That was some play. Here's another look at what Michael's talking about. Didn't even transfer from uh, glove to hand. Like a highlight Cessna, he flips it to Voigt and gets the out. It's about the only way he would have gotten him. Look where he's coming from, from near second base. He's more than halfway to first and makes the play. And a good stretch by Voigt on the other end as well. How about that play? Here's the 1-0. That's a liner in the right field. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Albert Pujols has done it. Another milestone for Albert. You've just punched your ticket into the 3,000 hit club. The fourth player in Major League Baseball history with at least 600 home runs and 3,000 hits. Joining Hank Garrett, Willie Mays, and Alex Rodriguez. Add Albert Pujols to that list. And what a moment this is for Albert with his teammates, his family here. Pop up. Chapman hustling over, maybe. Did he catch it? He did. He caught it. The golden year for Matt Chapman continues. Watch this play. Unbelievable. How in the world does he do it night after night after night? Full speed racing and then draping and almost diving his way on top of the tarp and he backhands the ball and takes it away from nestling right between the tarp and the seats over there. Matt Chapman, he's going to win the gold glove. What a stop by Adrianza and a double play. Oh my goodness. His second sterling defensive play at third base. That is a spectacular play by Adrianza at third base. A dive to his right, and as quick as he dove for it is how quick he came up and threw to second. The throw to first in time to get Chapman on target throw, and Petit even at second base quick. Nicely turned by the Twins. 2-2. Two -two. Popped up, right center. Tough play. Oh, what a play! Kike Hernandez! 
Boy, great job by Kike and nice job by Matt Kemp avoiding him. That would not have been a lot of fun. Guy leading your team with runners in scoring position, hitting one of your best defenders that can play all over the field. Beautiful play. Little jam shot. And it's going to be Crawford who does it again. I mean, you have got to be kidding me. They should just mail him the gold glove right now and just assume it's going to be his. Shouldn't be a vote. That's I didn't it. think there was any chance he was getting to that ball. Bader comes in, and he is able to make the catch. Have yourself a night, Harrison Bader. My goodness, you talk about closing speed. Well, yeah, maybe in the NFL, but also in MLB. Also, in a tremendous first step, his reaction to this ball makes this even possible. But the speed is just electrifying. He is getting a standing ovation by over 40,000 to sell out crowd inside Bush Stadium. Into center field, shallow. On comes Jake, another diving catch by Jake. The hair flying, but the Mariners two outs because of Jake Marisnik in center. This is incredible. It's the jump, it's the closing speed, and it's the fearlessness to lay out and make a play for your team. It's incredible. How do you even see where the runners were with the hair going all over the place? He's done it before. <laughs> Cano robbed. Healy robbed in this inning. Red Sox debut. High fly ball. Deep left field. Watch this baby go. It is gone. How about that? Brandon Phillips has put the Red Sox in the lead. Nine to eight in the ninth inning. Is that some debut? Goodness gracious. And holy cow. And maybe today from zero to hero. It was a tough game at the beginning, but we came back. We don't give up. I've been watching these guys when I was down there in the bushes. You know, I'm back in Atlanta, Georgia, and you know, playing in front of my family and fans. And I said, man, if I get a chance to do something, I'm going to try to make something happen. I need to make it rain today. And then next thing you know, and look what happened. Three ball, two strike count. Tillman's delivery to him. Ground ball's going to go to third, short, Manny, long throw. And got him! What a play by Manny Machado in the shallow left field. What a beauty there by Manny Machado. Unbelievable defensive play there. Skips over the glove of Beckham. Got to keep moving until the ball's contained. And Manny in a spot. We saw him make this play so many years at third base. On the run, full speed going to the backhand side. And then somehow finds the ability to make a perfect throw with a little hair on it there. The Stella drifting and into the stands. Did he catch it? He did! Yeah. Will, will, will he ever come out? We don't know, but he made the catch. What a play by Tommy LaStella. That was Baez-like. It's in the air a long time. That gives him an opportunity to get over there, assess the situation. He's got some friendlies in there. There's a lot of blue he's going up into, but they were being all that cooperative. I would argue if you're wearing blue, disregard the ball, catch the third baseman. Here's a 3-1. Driven to deep right center field, chasing Loriano back to the track near the wall, reaches out and pulls it down. Ramon Loriano with another circus catch for the Athletics, taking extra bases at an RBI away from the veteran Adrian Beltre. Loriano scaling walls out in right center. Robin Beltre, he of already the long homer earlier in the game, takes extra bases away from the veteran. The 3 1 and Acuna swings. It's a high drive to left center field. Taylor back at the wall. It is gone. A grand slam for Acuna. Ronald Acuna Jr., now the youngest player to hit a postseason grand slam. Both him and Mickey Mantle did it against the Dodgers franchise. Mickey did it when he was 21 years old in the 1953 World Series against the Brooklyn Dodgers. Swinging a high fly ball. Deep to left field. Way, way back. It's gone. The grandest of all home runs. A towering fly ball to the left field bleachers by Ronald Acuna. And a 5-0 Atlanta lead. Peralta's delivery to Shebler. Lined into center field. Moving back is Broxton. Still back. Warning track. Leaps up. Hits the wall. Hangs on. Keon Broxton with another whale of a catch in deep center field. Took an extra base hit away for sure from Shebler. Jumping up into the air on the warning track. Baseball found the glove and then he banged it in the center field fence and somehow held on to that baseball. What a play by Broxton. That's two really nice defensive efforts from Keon Broxton in this series and Freddie Peralta tips his cap. 
Nick Ahmed backhands it. Long throw! Got him! Oh my goodness, give him a gold glove right now. Wow. Number one, I didn't think he could get to it. Number two, I didn't think he could get rid of it that quickly. And number three, I didn't think he had enough arm from that position to get the ball across the diamond in the air to Goldie. Big stretch to the outfield side. Hey, look where he's at. He's in an outfield grass, and he got rid of that baseball in as like, quick as could possibly be. Here's the pitch by Morton. That ball's driven to left center field. That's hit a long way toward the monster, and it's brought down by Jake Maristic. What an impossible catch. Out of nowhere, it crashed against the middle of the green monster, the out-of-town scoreboard. That's why Jake Marisnik's out there. What a huge play for Jake to save. Possibly a bases clearing extra base hit by Andrew Benintendi. We could have had a one-run game. Instead, it's 5-1. to one. What a play by Jake. There is the 1-1 to Semyon. Line grab by Echevarria. What a play. So they put Etch in for D. And he just flashed some leather. A great leap and a great catch. That's exactly why he's there. What a play by Echevarria. Just tremendous. There's a line shot. Oh, oh what a catch by Danny Echevarria. Into right center field, splitting Tony Kemp and Josh Reddick. But wow. Reddick with a great diving catch out of nowhere. Spider-Man. Red Dog flying from right field to make that play. That looked like it was splitting the gap the whole way. Absolutely. Tony Kemp playing to that opposite field gap in left center, so it only left Red Dog on an island by himself. He had a long way to go. Digging for a long time, laying out, making the catch. That is one of his better catches as an Astro. Here's the pitch. It's hit in the air the other way, and Dickerson nearing the wall, and Dickerson leaps up, and did he make the catch? He did! Dr. Dickerson, Corey just robbed Kyle Schwarber, timing his jump perfectly at the wall in the left field corner to rob Schwarber of a home run. Uh, he really did get uh, up high. That was going to easily be back, uh, maybe even by the time it landed in the second row. One of the great catches by any left fielder in the history of PNC Park. Maxson has his sign. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, hit hard. Seeger dives. He's near the line. He's got it. The throw to first. It is in time. An incredible play by Kyle Seeger. He dove on the line at third, scrambled to his feet, and threw a rocket to first. Scoop by Healy. And that is it for Pilar and the Blue Jays here in the seventh. What a play by Kyle. That is amazing. 1-0 pitch to Taylor. Ground ball to third, backhanded by Moose. It's a fair ball, throw across the diamond. Got him at first base! Ho-ho! What a play by Mike Moustakis, who just saved not only one run, but potentially three from scoring. Got up, fired across the diamond, and a beautiful pick by Jesus Aguilar on the other end, just in time to get Chris Taylor. Put a star on it, circle it. What a play by Moustakis and Aguilar. Swing and a bouncer, third base side. Great grab by Franco. Quick throw across the diamond. He wow. got him. Oh, what a play. Michael Franco. That's as good a play as you'll see. Oh, wow. Well into foul territory when he threw it. I, I just didn't think he was going to have any chance with the throw when he got to it. And he was crossing the line. His momentum was taking him across the foul line. A little bit of a jump. Long throw from well into foul territory. That's as good as you're going to see down there at third. And Lobatone setting up inside. The barrel of the bat flew all the way to the screen, and look at this! See you later on a broken bat. The bat hit the screen behind the bat boy, and Bryce Harper hits it out of the yard. <laughs> I think Roy Hobbs just hit a home run. I know it's happened before. I've never seen it. A broken bat home run for Bryce Harper. Are you kidding me? Well, that's shocking. Bat snapped in two, and Harper hit it. 390 feet to right center for his eighth home run of the year. And it's 1-0 Washington. The legend grows. I do not know what to say about that. Joe Maurer in the center field. Back is Broxton. And Broxton leaps and makes the catch. Keon pulls another one back. Day after day, this guy's making highlight reel plays. Perfectly timed his leap. He got to the wall, jumped straight up. He knew exactly where he was. Straight up and holds it in. That would have been a home run. What a play. Yeah, Jennings just got a gift and knows it. He's ready to go, so is Tim Beckham, and we're underway. Shot to center. That's it hard. Going back, warning track wall. Up and oh, you gotta be kidding. 
me. We pick up where we left off last night. Jake Kane, who made the great catch on Chris Davis, now comes in and robs Beckham on the first pitch of the game. Well, you just sit down as a fan, walk first pitch into the ball game. You see the center fielder, Jake Cave, hustle back and timed his leap perfectly and brought that ball back. And he drills one out in the center. Now more back at the wall. He got it! What a grab! He might have just saved a home run. Well, he's made a bunch of them, but that might be the play of the year so far. Yeah, wow. He's wowing himself. He's wowing everybody in this ballpark. Elmora may have stolen a home run from Tyler Flowers. He ran back to the center field fence. It's eight and a half feet high. He reached up. I do believe that glove was above the top of the barrier. And he's going to turn around and look at the big board and watch his magic act. High fly ball hit toward left center field. Ender is on the run to the track, to the wall, leaping try. He got it. What a catch. <laughs> Ender at the last moment leaps up and takes one away from Kingery. What a play. Two out. Timed it perfectly by not getting too close to the wall that might limit his height on the jump. Wheels and deals home. Hit in the air, center field, backing up Kane on the warning track at the wall. Jumps! He made the catch! He took one back from Cody Bellinger on a dazzling catch by Lorenzo Kane. The reaction of Miley thought it was out of the ballpark. Look at Lorenzo measuring it the whole way, able to lead, perfectly timed, able to grab it. And Lorenzo Kane keeps this a one to nothing game for Wade Miley and the Brewers. This is swinging a fly ball, left center field, deep trouble. Jones tracking it to the wall. He's going to jump up and no way. Did he make it? Yes, he he made the catch. Oh, oh, man. Over the fence, below the fence, and then back with the ball. He robs Adrian Beltre of a home run. He timed his jump, and when he timed his jump, he was halfway up on the fence. He's the glove went over the fence, and he came back down. The ball was in his glove. What a catch Jacoby Jones just made. Shift on. Sanchez well into right field and that it's going to be really hard for Rendon to make the play and by golly he did it way to his right blind throw on the move on target to Zimmerman Anthony Rendon may be his most amazing play of the year unbelievable range maybe ever carp if you want to take it there because he's going away watch the squibber so it's, it's tailing away from him the momentum is going toward the third baseline he jumps and throws all in one motion across the infield put five stars by that that's amazing I mean the play itself is just ridiculous 3-2 coming to Peterson and he drives one out to center slicing away from Conforto he makes a great catch Oh, wow! That ball was well struck, and it kept on working its way away from Conforto, who makes a brilliant catch to save a run. All the way to the backstop, but look at this. They may have a play at third. It ricocheted right back to Sanchez, and he throws Kemp out. We have seen a little bit of everything tonight. That pitch was headed somewhere in the direction of Staten Island if it wasn't stopped by the backstop, but it caroms directly back to Sanchez, who despite his other defensive deficiencies has a very strong arm. Hello, thank you, boom. And sure enough, Otani will bet with the bases loaded. Well, fans who came to see Otani tonight in the lineup are gonna have a chance to see him bat with runners everywhere and a chance to immediately impact this game. That's out toward right center field. Going back on it is Zimmer. At the wall, gone! Big fly, Otani-san! Fair ball. Foul bueno. Thinking extra bases. Hanniger digs Strong it out in the throw. corner. And what a tag. Oh, they had wow, it. what a play by Segura. A backhanded <laughs> tag. Beautiful. What a throw. Unbelievable play on both ends. Both ends. This ball is into the corner. We could barely see him from where we were at. Right. Valbuena hits it hard. Solid line drive, able to keep it fair. But it goes all the way down into the corner. Mitch digs it out and gets rid of it quickly. He has a strong throwing arm, and it's right on the money. What a tag mm. by Segura. Ground ball to the right side. Pujols gloves it, stumbles, rolls over, somehow flips it to the bunker and get the out. I hope Albert's okay. I don't know how he got that throw to Ty Buttrey covering first base. 
Albert down the line, gets to that baseball, stumbles, and still a perfect feed. Ty Buttry at first base, still a perfect throw of the first. Fortunately, Buttry a big target at first base, but what an unbelievable play. Just to, yeah. one to get to it, two, still throw a strike somehow. A perfect strike. This is Baez's ball, he's got it! As he tumbles into the stands, what a play! I hope he's all right. That area is very unforgiving in terms of the bricks. Yeah, the height of that wall makes it a very difficult play and headlong into the stands. Another highlight from Baez. Great catch. And I love at the end he goes into the, comes into the out stands of and a, holds the ball yeah, up. And comes out of with a smile on his face like, yep, it's just me being me. And Quinn hits it back and caught by Matson. It'll be a double play. Side retired. Whoa. Well, that's how you double him up. Matz with the incredible reaching behind the back catch of the line drive and turns it into two. What a play. The magic from Matz behind the back, falling down and gets up shrugging. Look, it ain't no big deal. Let me tell you, that was a big deal. A hot shot. And in the process of sitting down, he made a backhand catch of a line drive. And the toss to first to end the inning, doubling off. Hoskin. Right-handed hitter, slightly open stand, swings and hits into the air to right. Tore the line, goes Adam Eaton into foul ground, leaping up against the side wall, and he caught it! He climbed the side wall and makes a leaping catch to retire the side. What a play by Adam Eaton. He leaped into the wall for a ball out there a couple of nights ago. Tonight, one step up on the wall, he climbs the side wall, reaches up, and makes a spectacular catch. Weekly to the pitcher. Look at the Suter. Raptor. And the Raptor got him. Out of the base path. Alex Gordon's out. Well, he moves like a Raptor, Dan. There he is. You're looking at a Harvard grad right there. Standing ovation. Degree in environmental science and public policy. Jumping on this one like a big cat. We're going to call him the Grande Puma. Look at him right here. Fred, <laughs> get up, dive. Line to left center. Margot on the run. Lays it out and makes the catch. Manuel Margot into left center field to make the grab. What an incredible first step for Manny Margot. Such an important task because this ball is smoked. That first step is the direction right at the baseball. And he stuck the landing with a nice diving catch. Yeah, as Piscotti drills one to center way back, to Shields at the track over his head, and he makes a phenomenal catch and crashes up against the wall, loses his hat to Shields with a catch up against the fence. Are you kidding me? Delano gave it all up to reel that one in. What a play by Delano to Shields. Wow, what a play. His cap went flying off as he ran into the wall, exposing that canary yellow hair. But what a catch by Delano to Shields, leaping into the wall in dead center. In the air to left, into the gap, it is caught! Taylor with a run-saving catch and who knows how much more. It's going to be a long run for Taylor, and he makes a spectacular over-the-shoulder catch on the warning track, falling to the ground. What a play by Chris Taylor. And, of course, we said these fans are waiting for something to cheer about. Well, they've got a chance right now with Lindor coming up again with a runner in scoring position. The 3-2. Breaky ball in the air to right field. Grossman by the warning track at the wall. He's such a special player. It's hard to say this, but that was almost expected. He is a red light player. When that camera light is on him. When the lights are brightest, he is at his best. All of his fans here in Puerto Rico, and they're calling for a curtain call. Jonathan Holder, one and two on Joseph. Set up away. Got it in. Drives it to right. Judge going back. Judge going back at the wall. Reaching. And made the catch! Aaron Judge! Robs Caleb! Joseph of a go-ahead home run in the 13th inning. He caught it. He caught it. He caught the ball. He brought it back. And otherwise, that baby is in the first row. Well, I'll take a look at it now. He's going back, and he really timed it. You could see it. And he's over the fence. That was over the ledge. He really pulled that back. What a terrific catch. High fly ball, center field. The Shields going back near the wall. Leaps, and he brings one. Shields takes a home run away from Hunter Renfro to preserve the shutout. What a catch.
catch by Delino. Pitch. Santana in the air to center. Dyson started in, now going back, still going back, still going back at the fence. He leaps, and he caught it! He caught it! Gerard Dyson just took away a three-run home run from Domingo Santana. He gets a hat tip from Matt Cook, and this game is still scoreless at the end of four. He took it back, jumps straight up, gets to the wall, jumps straight up, and pulls it back. Heck of a catch to save three runs. I thought that was a routine fly. Just yeah. kept going. That one's deep in trouble. Matuk back, jumps up. He made the catch with a play! Mikey Matuk robs Harrison Bader of a home run. And Mikey Matuk made the catch of the wall. He brought it back. That was a home run, and he robbed him of a home run break play. So Mikey Matuk up against the wall. He took a home run back, and he keeps the Cardinals off the scoreboard. Segura, two hits and three at-bats, and now... Sends one towards the middle, Correa to it. Tyler. They turn two. Marwin in the middle. Carlos Correa starts it. One of the best double plays of the season. Outstanding play by Correa. Diving up the middle while lying on the ground. Flipping it with his glove to second. And the inning is over. Diving stop behind the bag at second. Flips it right out of his glove to Gonzalez. They get Maven at second. They double up Segura at first. 6-4-3. Heck of a play by Correa to retire the side. Ground ball toward the middle. Simmons goes into a dive. Flips it to Kinsler for one. Relay back to first. Got him! What a play! Andrelton Simmons with a gold glove twin killing. We'll see if Cora decides to challenge it. And there will be no challenge. Got him at first base. Sensational play. I'll tell you what. That might be one of the best double plays turn you'll ever see at any time in any season. Up the middle, the glove, the flip, all in one motion. And then the turn. What a play. 6-4-3. Double play. Hard hit. Dozier with a diving stop. Gets it to Machado. The new guys turn a beauty. Dozier to Machado for a double play. Special in a lot of places. The grab. Then Machado reading the flip's going to be short. So using the momentum to get the one out at second to get the second out at first. Dozier diving to the center field side of second base from his glove. And on his face, he flipped it backhanded to Machado, and then from Machado on to Muncy in a highlight film double play. This one is belted. Center field. Thompson's back. And it is. He caught it. Wow. He caught it. Sensational play by Trace Thompson to take a two run homer away from Puig. Unbelievable. Caught by Thompson, an unbelievable leaping catch over the wall in his A's starting debut against his former club, and he robs Yasiel Puig of a two-run home run. Mitch Hanniger, first hitter, hit swung on, driven deep to left. It's a high fly ball carrying towards Edgars, and it is caught out there. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Garcia to save the shutout. That was a towering fly ball off the bat of Hanniger, and the ball just hung up. Looked like it was going to go. Leary back, goes up high over the wall, and makes the catch. What a play that is. He goes up about as high as he could go up, and Soria can't believe it. Joaquin Soria has pitched in 611 big league games, and he looked like a kid in a candy store right there. <laughs> well, Leary pulled one back for him. And he swings the first pitch, pops it up. Culberson foul ground, glasses gleaming into the stands, tumbles into the seats, and he held on! What a catch! <laughs> and he never looked down at the tarp with his last 10 or 15 steps. He knew where it was. What a great effort and catch. My goodness, what a play. All the Braves players, he's played here more than anybody else, and it paid off in a big way right there. And he sends one into left center field, pretty well hit. On the move, Jake, a diving wow. catch, and he got me? there! That could be one of his best of the year. Holy cow. Jake Marisnik put in for defense this inning, and it pays off as he lays out on the diving catch. Well, come off the bench and make a play like that. A belly flop in left center field. Gorgeous play by Marisnik in left. Hanniger quickly cutting across. Hanniger picking up some speed. Does he make the catch? He makes the catch in center field. What a play, Mitch Hanniger. 
Full extension, catches it just before it hits the ground. Did not think he was going to get there. Made up a lot of ground. Dives a little bit early. How often do you see the catch made when you're already on the ground? Yeah, uh, he dives early for it. Incredible play. And you would think the force, the collision of hitting, the, hitting ground. the ground would make it almost impossible to keep the glove in the right spot for the actual catch. Curveball hits Velasquez. And he's going to throw left-handed. How about that? And hopefully he's okay. He's ambidextrous, so it's not surprising that he got up and threw it left-handed. What's surprising is that he did it after being in so much pain. Well, I think the adrenaline kicks in there and keeps the pain from bothering you with the play. That's one of the most unbelievable plays I have ever seen. Incredible. Incredible to be that athletic to be able to do that. Infield back, the pitch. Swinging a fly ball out to right field. That's hit deep at the wall. Gritchick, he leaps and he made the catch. Gritchick pulled it back. A game tying home run into the glove of Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick doing it all tonight. A mammoth home run and a tremendous defensive catch. The elevating as high as he could go. Gritchick went into the front row of the right field wall and taking it away from the fans. And the Blue Jays keep a three-run lead in the ninth. David Bodie, the pinch hitter. He's been very good off the bench. Three for six in this capacity. down in the zone perfect swing down a magical swing a magnificent result with the bat flip pinch hit walk off grand slam and all a result of baseball gods do not lie i knew he had that little two seam sinker in there i was trying to get uh, underneath it just like he said and i got to center field it's my third career grand slam once in high school once in low a and then obviously this one here in, in the big leagues this one's just as sweet the best fans in the league. Go Chicago. We love you guys. This will be the 13th pitch of the at bat. Three and two. Runners will take off. Here we go. It's time to party right here. High deep drive. He crushed it. It's a grand slam. Wow. I'm telling you, it's time to party. How about that? One of the most electrifying at bats of the season, and I mean anywhere in the major leagues. Mookie Betts slaughters a grand slam. An incredible at bat, an amazing inning. Just this the way the Red Sox are going, it was time to party again, I'm telling you. Look at him go backward. I mean, he is getting off here, boy. I mean, he is just digging it. Man, a one-two. Left center field on the move, Jackie Bradley. Lunging down. Oh, he made the play, and he slams into the wall. A sliding stab on a great, great catch by Jackie Bradley. At the crack of the bat, it looked like there was no way on earth he was going to run that down, but he did. And look at Evaldi, the pitcher. I mean, he's standing there just clapping. Welcome uh, to the Red Sox when you got Jackie Bradley in center field. Like that, that catch right there is one of the best I've ever seen. He's getting a standing ovation here. Goodness gracious. And paid the price. Just remarkable. You can't make better plays than this. Runner at first, two down, runner goes. Ball hit the right. And Naquin, what a catch! Holy smokes! He leaped in the air, grabbed it, hit the track, and held on. A standing O indeed. Oh, what a play! Tyler Naquin with a ball beyond him, racing back, lunging in the air on the warning track, grabbing it and hanging on as he fell to the track. It doesn't get any better than that. Pitch to Morales. High drive, right center field deep. Jackie on his horse, back into the triangle. Still going high, turns, jump. Oh, what a catch! Unbelievable with his back to home plate. And Brock Holt hugs him. Unbelievable. Between the garage door and the 420 mark. I mean, he put his head down and he sprinted. And he went a long, long way, maybe 100 feet. Reached up with a glove, palm up, and somehow leaped and made the catch. That's the best outfielder in the game of baseball, Jackie Bradley Jr. Well, if you're not convinced now, you will never will be that he's the best. I mean, that was just absolutely amazing. And the one-two. Hit up the middle. Diving stop by Wong. He's thrown a first. Oh, he got him! It might be the play of the year by Colton Wong. Unbelievable up the middle.
title. Wow. <laughs> Look at his teammates. They can't believe it. He's on the ground. He picks it up and throws it with his really his body in midair. Oh, my goodness. How about that? Two outs, runner aboard, the 0-1. Swing, he loses the bat, it breaks with the handle, fly ball, right field, Hanniger charges it in, dives, and Hanniger makes the catch! A miraculous Superman-style catch in right field! How on earth did Mitch Hanniger just fight gravity and win? He has locked down a 3-2 Mariners win. That was simply remarkable. What a ball game today for the Mariners. Outstanding play, Mitch Hanniger right there. The broken bat goes about 15 rows behind the dugout third base side, but Mitch made that play. And he lines this sharply toward right center field, and this is gonna be, oh, he caught the ball, no way! Billy Hamilton just made a sensational grab. That's one of the best we've ever seen here. Unbelievable catch by Billy Hamilton. Are you kidding me? What an unbelievable play made by red center fielder Billy Hamilton. Completely horizontal to the ground. Take a look at this. Wow. Bird drives that in the air to center and deep. Angle back to the wall. Leaps. And he made the play! What a catch by Angle to Rob Bird of a three-run homer. And he made the catch! Oh, what a grab! Just over the line! Bring it back, 15! What a great play by Adam Angle. He got to the wall, realized exactly where he was, and timed his leap perfectly to haul it down. Adam Angle is one of the best defensive players in baseball. The numbers bear it out, your eyes bear it out. Just an outstanding effort. Punch out to right center field, and Cole comes up with it! Are you serious? Lay down like Superman, and he rubs Torres of extra bases. And look at Andrew Heaney loving that play. You talked about the defense, Victor, to start this game, but look at this defensive play by Cole. Not taking his at-bats out in the field. The range and the dive and the catch just before that baseball hit the ground and the enthusiasm. A lot of times you see guys time it, absolutely a phenomenal play. That ball is crushed. Higashioka left center, angle! In the air again! Come on now! Back to back nights! What are you doing out there, Adam? This one might have been a little bit better than the last one. As he goes all the way back to the wall, that one looked like it was out of the park until Adam Engel went back again, measured it once again, and at the apex of his jump, he's able to make the catch. That is an outrageous play, the second night in a row. Fly ball backs up Dyson in right field at the track, at the wall. Oh, Gerard Dyson, what a play! He takes a home run away from Jake Marisnik. Wow, what a catch by Gerard Dyson. Timed his leap perfectly. Doesn't get much cooler than taking a home run away from somebody. Wow. Look at Gerard Dyson. Just plants that cleat in the fence. The arm full extension all the way over there. And yeah, nobody happier about that than T.J. McFarland. In the air, right center field. Angle back at the warning track in the wall. Adam leaps. Goes up as high as he can go once again. Brings it back into the ballpark. That's the third time. Not one of them has been easy. All of them have been perfectly timed. What a play again. Just brilliant in center field. Out to center field. Odubel going back toward the fence. He jumps and he got it! How about he that pulled one? it right out of the bushes! Odubel Herrera reels one in. And there are two outs here in the top of the third inning. Ah, there's one for highlights around the country. Freeman thinks he's got a home run. He does have a home run. Odubel got caught in the branches. Oh, home, no big deal. Gives himself a hand. The Red Sox trying to grab a stranglehold on this World Series. Up two games to nothing. Tie game, top of the tenth. Fly ball into center. Is it deep enough? Bellinger's got a good arm. Kinsler tags. Here's the throw home. Kinsler out. The game stays tied. What a throw by Bellinger to keep it 1-1.
Bellinger setting up, makes the catch. Here comes Kinsler. Here comes the throw. They got him. Bellinger with a rocket to the plate on the fly. Kinsler out at home, and the side is retired. Holy smokes, what a throw by Cody Bellinger. Dodgers against the ropes. Somehow avoid the knockdown punch. Evaldi on three and two. Fly ball, left center field. Well hit, back at the wall, and the longest World Series game in history has come to an end. A mighty blast by Max Muncy. The Dodgers are back from the dead. They win it three to two. They move back to within two games to one in the 2018 World Series. An historic game at Dodger Stadium, and Muncy is being pummeled at the plate. Muncy flies one in the air to left center. Back at the wall, and it's gone! It's over! Muncy, a walk-off home run to win game three in the 18th. Night, night. So Benintendi has walked with two outs in the ninth, and Hanley Ramirez, who's been a thorn in the A's side over the years, he'll be coming up. He struck out twice and popped out. And this will be a 2 0 pitch. And it's on the way, and it's swung on a ground ball to short. Simeon's got it. Throws to second for the first, and Sean Benaya has no hit the Red Sox. And the A's vault out of the dugout. Here they come in from the bullpen, and they're mobbing Manaya just to the left of the pitcher's mound at the Coliseum in Oakland. The seventh no-hitter in Oakland Athletics history. It comes on the 21st of April, 2018. He is one out away from Mariners history in this ball game. The big lefty from Ladner, British Columbia. The fans are on their feet. Here's the windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a one up and a third. Seager's got it. Toss across. Ball game is over. James Paxton has just thrown a no-hitter. The big lefty is getting mobbed out of the mound. The young man from British Columbia throws a no-hitter against the Blue Jays. North of the border here at Rogers Center in Toronto. His teammates are mobbing him at the mound. He is surrounded by his teammates. Paxton has thrown a no-hitter tonight here in Toronto on May the 8th of 2018. Fly ball center field, well hit. Zimmer a long run. Oh, what a catch by Zimmer. Unbelievable. A complete all-out diving stab, and he hung on in deep left center field. Look at the crowd. The crowd's clapping for him. That's how good that catch was on the road. Watch his last leap. He took off, and I mean, he was flying through the air like Superman. On the backhanded side, that was an unbelievable catch. They would have had another one on the board. Watch the last leap. What a catch. Timed it beautifully to hold on for out number one. Great catch. 1-0 pitch. Hit in the air, center field, backing up Dozier. And Dozier and Broxton jumps. He got another. Come on, Keon. Get out of here. What a play. Keon Broxton pulls another home run back. This guy. Something else. That, that might, might be one of his best ever. Guy just continues to amaze you out there in center field. My goodness. He is so happy. Loves making plays. <laughs> That's not showboat in him. He's just exuberant. Well, just sometimes guys even impress themselves with some of their plays. And it goes back. He's measuring it. He's timing his lead. Perfectly timed and able to haul it in. Taking a home run away from Dozier. Runners will be off with a crack of the bat with two outs. Kimbrell deals. Bregman in the air. Left field. Benintendi dives. And he makes the catch. Oh, what a play. Game saver. Andrew Benintendi. The Red Sox win on a spectacular catch by Benintendi in left field. Wow, what a finish. And did he make the catch? He did. He got it. The Red Sox win. <laughs> the Red Sox win. As I just went head over heels in my chair. <laughs> Joe just fell down. <laughs> oh, wow, what a catch by Andrew Benintendi. Unbelievable. What a play. And the Red Sox lead the series three games to one. Tremendous play by Benny. As gutsy of a play and a decision as you can have with it all on the line. Andrew Benintendi. 
First pitch swinging, a high fly ball to center field. How about Amir Garrett? That ball continues. Oh, my gosh! Can you believe that? That ball continued to carry. And Billy Hamilton goes up and over the wall to bring back a would-be home run. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy. He does it again. Hamilton robs Carpenter. Another unbelievable catch by Billy Hamilton. Oh, he caught it. A remarkable catch by Billy Hamilton in center field. One of the great plays we've seen in 2018. Holy smokes, what a play. Gilbert pauses. Out of the plate with the 0-1, and that is slug. Deep center field. Pilar racing back, getting to the wall. He jumps, and he makes the catch! Soaring through the air! Superman has done it again! Kevin Pilar racing to the wall, extending, and robbing it at the top of the fence. This house is alive! That was awesome! Oh, and it's caught! Oh, my goodness! By Pilar! Look at him, man. He climbs the wall and takes a home run away from Nicholas Cassiano. And that wall is about 10 feet high. My goodness. Best catch I've seen this year, Mario. Runner goes, 3-2 pitch. Is hit to the gap in left center field. Hit a long way. Out on the run is Larry. Oh, and he makes the catch. An amazing catch. Sails the throw back to first base. And this is in time on the fly from Ramon Laureano. What a double play by the rookie. An incredible play. Streaking toward left center field. Makes the catch on the run. And sails it on the fly to first base. And doubles up Eric Young. Unbelievable. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that throw. Oh, my God. To Canna. It wasn't from the cutoff, oh, man. that's unbelievable. It was from Laureano. <laughs> I mean, the catch alone was enough, but to finish it off with a double play? Great play right here, and he throws this ball almost all the way from the warning track in the air all the way to first base to get EY Jr. Wow. Yeah, that, you're, you're not going to see much better play by an outfielder than that. That was unbelievable, really. Absolutely amazing. That was one of the greatest plays that any of